So I'm delighted to uh, welcome up to the podium one of our very consistent and strong supporters throughout the years, Mayor Ian Sutherland of Squamish. Thank you, Don. Your Honour, it's a pleasure to have welcome you back to Squamish. Lieutenant Governor has made several trips to Squamish. It's humbling for a community of our size to be so honoured by your continued support. Your genuine affection for people, natural curiosity and dignity make all British Columbians proud. <laughs> Minister Falcon is another friend of Squamish, notwithstanding the $1 lease deals from time to time. <laughs> From the $600 million spent on the highway improvements to the $3 purchase of the oceanfront lands, the minister has helped the process of transforming our community. We also have an MLA here, Joan McIntyre. You know, Joan has worked tirelessly since becoming an MLA um, a few years ago, and with her guidance and support, we have achieved much in our community, including the return of the court services, and especially the Royal Hudson and West Coast Railway Park. So thank you, Joan, for all your support in our community. Under the leadership of Lynn Mayor Crean Lonsdale and Don Evans, the community organized a viable plan. The province literally bought into that plan, and real bus from across British Columbia, and in fact across Canada, stepped to the plate to help achieve what we're here today to celebrate. Got fire in the belly up there. <laughs> <laughs> then it's time for the steam up, gentlemen. Let's see your colors. <laughs> 